Princess Catherine has expressed her heartbroken over missing her spot on the balcony of Buckingham Palace during this year's Trooping the Color. According to a close family friend, the beloved princess is currently recovering from chemotherapy and her doctors have advised that her health is not yet robust enough for her to participate in this major royal event. More details emerge today about the annual official birthday parade for King Charles, which takes place on June 15. Buckingham Palace has confirmed that the monarch will take part in the ceremony, however, he will inspect the soldiers from a carriage with Queen Camilla rather than on horseback. It has also been revealed that the Princess of Wales would not be taking the salute at the Colonel's Review, the traditional rehearsal on June 8 for Trooping the Colour. Trooping the Colour is held every year as an official birthday event for the monarch, is one of the most significant and highly anticipated events in the royal calendar. Members of the royal family traditionally appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the RAF flypast and greet the public. However, this year, Princess Catherine had to prioritize her health over her royal responsibilities, much to her own heartbreak and the concern of the public. The Princess of Wales, who is adored by the public for her grace and dedication to her royal duties, has been undergoing chemotherapy as part of her treatment plan. According to the family friend, Catherine has been making steady progress in her recovery, but the rigors of chemotherapy have taken a significant toll on her energy and overall well-being. Her doctors advised against participating in such a high-profile event, considering the large crowds, the lengthy duration of the ceremony, and the potential strain it could impose on her still-recovering body. Despite her strong desire to be present, her medical team determined that attending the event could compromise her ongoing recovery. Missing the Trooping the Color was undoubtedly a difficult decision for the Princess of Wales. She has been a steadfast presence at royal events, and her absence this year is deeply felt by both her family and the public. As one of the biggest events in the royal calendar, this year's Trooping the Color is set to take place on Saturday, June 15. Featuring around 1,600 parading soldiers, 400 musicians and more than 200 horses and is usually wrapped up with an RAF flypast over Buckingham Palace, watched by the royal family from the palace balcony. Along with Charles and Camilla, whose presence is confirmed, royal sources said other members of the royal family were expected to attend, but that invites would be in line with last year when only working members of the family were present. Despite royal aides saying that William personally invited the other young members of the royal family to accompany him for the day, talk of permanent working royal roles for the cousins have been downplayed. This would mean there will be no place on the palace balcony for members of the family including Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice or the Prince and Princess of Edinburgh's children Lady Louise Windsor, 20, and James, the Earl of Wessex, 16. The news of Princess Catherine's health struggles has been met with an outpouring of support and well wishes from around the world. The royal family has rallied around the Princess of Wales during this challenging time, offering her unwavering support. Public reaction to the news has been overwhelmingly supportive. Social media has been flooded with messages of love and encouragement for the princess, reflecting the profound affection and respect she commands. Many have praised her for prioritizing her health, recognizing the immense pressure she faces as a member of the royal family. Despite the disappointment of missing the trooping the color, Princess Catherine remains optimistic about her recovery and future royal engagements. As Princess Catherine navigates this challenging chapter, the world watches with hope and admiration, confident that she will overcome this trial with the grace and strength that have always defined her.